Welcome to Hyperphysics. In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss a trick that you can use in your quantum mechanics examination, mostly MCQ type questions. I'll discuss a couple of questions. So the first question goes like this. The ground state eigenfunction for a potential V of x equal to minus delta of x where delta of x is the delta function is given by psi of x uh, equal to a e to the power minus alpha modulus of x so where a and alpha are greater than 0 and if a perturbation h prime equal to b x square is applied the first order correction to energy of the ground state will be so we have a delta function here V of x equal to minus delta of x and uh, it is given that the function wave function psi of x equal to a e to the power minus alpha modulus of x okay so uh, by looking at the options a b c and d you can see that there is a uh, there's there's a difference in all the options because the powers of alpha and b are different in different options so there could be a dimensional problem regarding this uh, regarding this question so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the normal dimension analysis method so what we have to find is the dimension of b dimension of b and dimension of alpha so you have this uh, this function as psi of x equal to a e to the power minus alpha modulus of x as uh, you can see if you can find the dimension of alpha just by looking at this 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 argument this uh, exponential term itself because as x has a dimension of l so alpha has to have the dimension of 1 by l because the exponential term this whole thing has to be a dimensional quantity dimensionless quantity so so alpha has to have a dimension of l to the power minus 1 okay so next we have to find the uh, dimension of b and it was it is given as h prime h prime there's a perturbation uh, Hamiltonian as bx square as h prime you know h prime is the form of energy itself so it has to have the dimension of ml square t to the power minus 2 and uh, uh, x square has a dimension of l square so b has a dimension of m t to the power minus 2 so we got all the required dimensions m t to the power minus 2 to the power minus 2 so if you check the options uh, if you just check option d that is b by 2 alpha square it turns out m t to the power minus 2 divided by alpha square has a dimension l to the power minus 2 so option d has a dimension ml square t to the power minus 2 which is the, uh, the dimension of energy itself so option d is the correct answer you can check the other options also you you won't be getting this ml square t to the power minus 2 uh, as the dimension of for these three quantities so if you are using this method it will take very less time otherwise if you have some problems with uh, like if you are doing the straightforward way if you make some mistake during your integration you will get a different value also like uh, this is a very simple way if the options have a problem dimensional problem like this uh, like because b has a different power alpha has a different power in different different options so you can use this method in order to find the answer so we have the next question here the question goes like this the normalized wave function in the momentum space of a particle in one dimension is phi of p to be alpha by p square plus beta square where alpha and beta are real constants so what we have to find is the uncertainty in delta x so you can see the options a b and c uh, a b c and d here alpha beta h bar everything has a different powers right in different and options are very different from each other so i'm going to use the same dimension analysis method similar to the previous question so how to find this dimension of alpha and beta from this wave function itself so we know that if the dimension of alpha alpha to find the dimension of alpha it has to have the dimension of phi of p itself phi of p has the dimension of alpha itself and we know that this beta dimension of beta has to be dimension of beta has to be equal to the 
dimension of p that is p is the momentum okay so what first we will find the dimension of beta we know that momentum is uh, mass times velocity momentum p equal to mv and uh, the thus we know that the momentum and dimension has uh, m l to the power l t to the power minus 1 so we can easily find that this option uh, i mean this is the dimension of beta to be equal to m l t to the power minus 1 so we have done with first one option that is the one uh, dimension that is beta next we have to find the dimension of alpha which is the dimension of phi of p itself so how to find the dimension of phi of p so we know the normalization condition right phi star of p uh, phi of p phi of p dp to be equal to 1 this is a normalization condition or i can write like this or phi modulus of this is like modulus of phi phi of p whole square dp is equal to 1 right so you can see that this dimension of dp has to be equal to p itself right because it's a differential volume a differential uh, momentum only but still it has a dimension of m l t to the power minus 1 so the dimension of phi of p uh, dimension of phi of p the whole square has to be 1 by dp or it has to be 1 by m l to the l t to the power minus 1 so phi of p has a dimension of uh, m l t to the power minus 1 whole to the power minus 1 over 2 which is the dimension of alpha so we have found the dimension of alpha alpha as well as beta here so if you try to solve this problem using this dimension analysis uh, and if you can just check option other the other options uh, if you check option d uh, just check option d you have uh, h by square root of 2 beta square root of 2 i mean doesn't make sense in uh, doing the dimension analysis so you have to keep that in mind uh, and we know that h cross h cross is h over 2 pi right so the dimension of h will be the same as h cross so we have the de Broglie relation h by p lambda equal to h by p so h has a dimension of lambda times p lambda is uh, so the dimension of uh, h has to be equal to the product of lambda and p lambda is uh, wavelength so it has to have length and uh, momentum has a dimension m l t to the power minus 1 so the dimension has to be uh, m l square t to the power minus 1 so this is the dimension of h cross itself h and h cross has the same dimension right so we can write like this if you check the options you can see that's option d m l square t to the power minus 1 by beta has a dimension of m l t to the power minus 1 and which will give us l so we have to find the, in the question we have to find the uncertainty in delta x delta x means the position itself right so position has a dimension of length itself so if you check the other options you won't get the dimension of this quantity as l uh, only option d will give you the correct answer so the uncertainty in position delta x will be h by root 2 times beta otherwise what you have in the if you are doing the straightforward method you have to first convert into a real space and you have to do some integration also that will take a lot of time to do uh, the integration is also very uh, difficult to do the for this this simple problem if you just analyze the options properly so i hope you like this video i hope you try this method where well, just try with the other options also find the um, just by use the other options and try to find if there is any problem with the uh, with the dimensions or something please let me know in the comments so thank you for watching this video i'll be posting more and more videos on this content okay so please like share and subscribe to my channel so thank you thank you everyone